All right, it doesn't say anything else about I mean, activating machinery. It just says we can't get underway. So rule number one, no joy rides. So one of the questions we get, of course, recently is we just turned a turret. Did we have to get permission from the Navy to, to do that? And the answer simply is no. The contract for the Iowa states that we can uh, activate a system such as that uh, for specific purposes, including cosmetic display, safety, or maintenance, all three of which are handled here in our uh, desire to load projectiles for cosmetic display, to provide a safe method by which we can do that, and also for maintaining all of those systems. So all three of those things are specifically addressed in the, the USS Iowa contract. Period. Very simple. So the other battleships uh, don't have anything that pre prevents them from rotating a turret in their contracts. Uh, they just have slightly different language. They're all uh, variations on a theme. Um, uh, for example, the Missouri calls out uh, that they, can, they must protect, preserve, and maintain the vessel, including hull, machinery, and appurtenances in a good state of repair and an efficient operating condition. Uh, that doesn't mean you can or cannot operate a turret or rotate a turret for good reason. There's nothing in the contract that states you can or cannot do that. One item of note on the New Jersey is that they are allowed to sell their teak decking. Uh, it's interesting that it's called out in that contract and not in the others because we're not um, disallowed from selling our teak decking. We certainly can and do. Uh, but it was specifically called out as something that they were able to do uh, with the New Jersey contract. With Wisconsin, one of the interesting features is that um, they cannot do any significant uh, modifications to the vessel that cannot be reversed in a three-day time frame in a shipyard setting. So the scope of work is restricted to the three-day work schedule. And it's unique to that contract and something that I haven't seen in any of the other contracts. Another item that the Navy doesn't want the ships to do is to activate galleys for the purposes of serving food. And interestingly, Iowa is the only ship that I'm aware of that was able to push back on that and have it reversed. So Iowa is allowed, in fact, to operate our galley. We're not sure exactly why that clause is in most of the contracts, if not all of the other ones. Uh, some people have speculated that it's because of the, the need for steam in the galley. But that's not really true either because most of the machinery, most of the cooking appliances inside the galley are in fact powered by electricity and not steam. So there's no question that all four of the Iowas have sufficient shore power to activate a galley electrically. Uh, but again, the contract states that all but the Iowa cannot operate their galley for the purposes of serving food. So one of the things we must do, well, we have to maintain the vessel. They don't give you a lot of specifics. They tend to say in the contracts, uh, maintain the vessel in a manner that's satisfactory to the Secretary of the Navy. Uh, they say that you have to maintain cathodic protection. They say that you have to maintain the vessel in towable condition uh, for the purposes of dry docking. It does not insist that you be dry docked, which is very important for us but it says that you must maintain it so that you can in fact go to a dry dock, uh, which in some cases would require a voyage of perhaps a thousand miles. Depends on the, the vessel and the local shipyard capabilities. So those are the things that we must do. Uh, but again, it lacks specificity. It does not say that you should paint it uh, uh, this many times in a 10-year period or anything like that at all. There's no other reference points for the most part about that. First and foremost, the contract is a donation contract. It transfers ownership of the vessel to the new donee or the nonprofit that is applied for it. So we own the Iowa here aboard the ship. We literally own a battleship, but the Navy can take it back. Uh, all of the, the uh, contract language for all the ships that I've seen, I've seen at least eight different contracts, all of them state that in the event of a national emergency as declared by the president or some other national need, the Secretary of the Navy can reach out and say, we want our ship back. That's exactly what it, they all say. So it's an interesting concept that we own it. It's our problem. The next step in the contract, by the way, says it's all of our problem to pay for this. There is no cost to the government at all. There's no money transferred from the Navy to these nonprofits to care for these ships in any direct way. So it's your ship. It's your problem. If we want it back, we'll take it back. And oh, by the way, we're not going to give you any money. And that's exactly how all the contracts are written.